Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. And 15 PCA. Native 454. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at C15 Podcast. So look at there's trouble in Trekland. So mm-hmm. Star Trek Discoveries um, had a kind of a bumpy creation. Oh, definitely. And it looks like they hit some more speed bumps here. And this is coming from uh, ComingSoon.net. The article reads, Star Trek Discovery showrunner exits, replaced by Alex Kirkman. And this is an article by Spencer Perry. And... They're quoting here, we've made some producer changes at Star Trek Discovery. CBS television studio tells trade in a series that continu- continues under the creative vision of their leadership, executive producer and co-creator Alex Kurtzman. Discovery remains on curse for season two in 2019 with a new and continuing storyline that builds on the success of the premiere series season. CBS television studios tells the trade and people thinking, well, so what happened? Ooh, why, why get rid of people? Though. And it looks like Not there's... Not for the reason they should be getting rid of them, by the way. So, in the article... Yeah, to get rid of them because the story was not that great. Yeah. But, um... This is coming from the article. The outlet also revealed that Alistair of Berg and Herbert's comes due to reports of hostile writing room and multiple Ooh. writers on the series reporting feeling uncomfortable from, oh. quote-unquote, abusive behavior. In addition, the budget for the first five episodes reportedly ballooned beyond expectations and will have effect on the remaining episodes for season two. Wow. So we're going to have five episodes that look great, and then they're going to what have episodes, I guess they're not going to be going to planets, no new aliens. Wow, that's, right. that's not good. No, I mean, oh, cardboard cutouts. Talk, like, you should have like the little, like you know, like the paper plates. Is this all, sir? <laughs> they're gonna reuse sets from the original series. Okay, yeah, they're gonna go back to the canyon. They're gonna yeah. have the the original Gorn costume, and everything is gonna be great. That'd be great. Oh man, so ah, that's not I'm good news. There. That that's, that's not good news at all. No, it's not. Oh. But again, they're, again, they're not being fired for the reasons they should be fired. That's what gets me mad. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's a it's a bumpy road. And uh, what do you think? What do you think they mean by abusive behavior? Do you think it's... Set? Again, if it would have been sex, sexual abuse... They would have said something. They, they would have said, said that. Sure. But again, in Hollywood nowadays, I mean, who isn't well, accused of sexual behavior? Yeah, exactly. You, it could be even the fact that, like, maybe they're arguing about storylines or, like, like... yelling and screaming. Or and, maybe they want their own political stuff in it, and... Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? This is a mess. That's all I know. Yeah. And it's like, guys... And the thing also coming out in 2019, so that means there's not going to be anything this fall at no. all. With any sci-fi shows, like yeah, that. man, that's just um, that's a big break. And outside of just like the, so if there was arguments in the writers' room, we're gonna yeah. again, good storylines don't really come out of that, you know. No, no. I mean, how many times you're like, oh yeah, the whole day we just yelled and screamed at each other, but man, we got a great script for you. Yeah, but man, no, it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be junky, it's gonna be clunky, it's gonna be disjointed because no one's they're not on the same page. Yeah. <sighs> All I know is how many times we're gonna hear Michael Burnham be praised again. I, I'm just looking it's in to every that. episode, it's in season one. But, um, so, again, the quote-unquote abusive behavior. I'm at the day and age where I want proof. <laughs> Give me exactly what they said. Yeah. They call you cuss words. Were they demeaning to people? Where it's just yelling and screaming? The fact what that was, was it? how hush-hush it is, yeah. it's, just, it's, it's just troubling. It's I don't, weird. And then the fact that the budget ballooned. So it's going to leave uh, not as much money for the end of the series where you probably need the most money yeah. for season finales and whatnot? Uh, yeah. And then That's the, not good. And the sad thing is then they're going to get all artsy-fartsy now because they don't have the yeah, budget. Yeah, they don't have the budget, so it's all going to be like dream sequences and stuff. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Oh, like they'll be a, like out-of-their-body experience kind of stuff. It's where everything look, doesn't look right. Right, yeah. <laughs> So like the, the final battle scene, you can see the guy holding the ship with his hand. Like, but you there. know what? But you know what? You right now, this 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 is on the brink. This series, honestly, that's my honest opinion. If you're Paramount, just suck it up and give them more money. You have to. Yeah. You you have to because it's gonna be bad. You are already you're already on shaky ground. Like I said, man, this has yes. bad special effects. Because that's one of the strong points of the uh, series. Yeah. With the special effects, you take that out, this I can collapse. Um, go back and watch our original. We reviewed the whole entire yeah. series. We didn't really like it all that much, but we did praise the special effects. Outside of the way the clean ons look in the Outside ships. of the clean ons the ships were amazing. I thought the makeup job on Suru was great. Yes. And uh, when they went to... They didn't go to many planets, but when they did, it looked good. Yeah, yeah it did. Very nice. Seeing that they're going to have less budget going on... Uh, that's gonna, not good. That's, that's not a good idea. That's, that's, that could be a death nail, guys. Man, that's uh, that's pretty bad stuff there for the... You For know, especially in season two, we're yeah. already having all these issues. So some, 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 I can see McFarlane just kind of smiling. You know, he's like, "Oh, it's sad that Star Trek's <laughs> doing bad." You yeah. know, he likes, he loves Star Trek, but he's like, "Oh, my show now yeah, gets exactly. to fill that void even more with yeah, all So like, if you now need, I can take a break now. Yeah. If you need your sci-fi fix and Trek isn't doing it for you, I we highly recommend the Orville. Oh, I can't, Orville. I can't wait until it comes out again. We, in December, but 
the Orville comes with all the recommendation that I could give to anything. Yeah, there's nothing higher I can give. So if all this sounds horrible and terrible and you're just like, you know what? Uh, you don't want to give it a chance, go watch Orville and you'll be yeah. right at home. Yeah. Yes, very good. And a thing also, I'll even give an example. Uh, Lieutenant Kitan is a super strong character, but she is vulnerable. And she does have fears. And she does have problems. You know, angst and, and exactly. that's fine. Yeah, and she also has uh, kind of a social anxiety I a little bit. Thing, problems and all. See, in Star Trek, they never discover, they never show that. They're always perfect. They're always, you know... Oh, whatever little problems Burnham has, she always seems to fall, like solve them and... Yeah. It wasn't her fault. It was other people's oh, yeah, fault yeah. for not recognizing how great she and, is. And, and except for like Tilly, but then they say they have to say she's handicapped. So that's why she's like that. It's like okay, guys, yeah. we get it. And then also, if you if you don't want issues to be beaten over the head like to death, Orville does a great job of making it subtle with how things are. In and that it lets you, and it doesn't tell you what to think. Exactly. No. But that's but, what great sci-fi always does. So b- before we become the uh, back to the Orville podcast, oh, I love that um, show. Discovery again. We 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 watch it because I I'm sorry. I track will always yes, be in my heart. I was my number one, and I will yeah. always watch it. Even yeah. this bad stuff. I know that like, people say, "Oh, if it's terrible, don't watch it." I do that for Star Wars. Even though I love Star Wars, I didn't watch Solo, and oh. I'm probably not going to watch Episode Nine. Yeah. But Trek has yet to do that to me to where I can't let it go. You know, yeah, I have yeah. to. It, I feel I mean, like, like it, as far as the movie go with Star Wars, it's almost dead to me. It's yeah. almost there. It's just about there. But Star Trek, all enough, the movies haven't been bad. I like them. Yeah, the movies are for, good. For all the reasons why people hate uh, Discovery and they say it's like the movies, well, in a movie, it's okay to be action y. Because even though I love sitting down at the, in the, war, the ready room, coming up with ideas with reversing polarities and all that stuff, yeah. that doesn't sell the movie. And, and re- invert the uh, warp tachyon drive. Pulse. They, they make the tachyon pulse and <laughs> hit the board and destroy them. Yeah. Oh, that no. felt good. If I can on that planet. remodulate the sensors, like, I love all that, but that doesn't sell a movie. Yeah. Not I can, so I can understand why movies are more yeah. action. The movie needs blast it now. Yeah. <laughs> so I kind of want to. I'm, I'm actually more intrigued to see what they do with the less of a budget. Unless they, you know, CBS has to come through and they're going to have to. And there's some um, background stuff with this whole series has always been on rock, rocky waters. Yeah. The whole idea of them going to Netflix is because Paramount. And Netflix, they help pay for it. Now CBS is fronting the whole bill for season yeah. two. Yeah, we'll see how that works out because, because originally the only reason why they did to begin with because they were going to lose the license if they yeah. didn't do something with Star Trek on the on the CBS side. So that's why they did season one. But now since it got enough fans, they got to do season two now. So they're kind of especially the when you, you can't end the series with freaking the Discovery running into the Enterprise and not give us a resolution. Oh yeah, you would be you would totally mess you got you can't do that to me, okay? Yeah, exactly. I want to see Pike, I want to see Spock, I want to see the people I actually care about. Yeah, all the original cast that would be there. So yeah, definitely um Rocky Waters for for Trek and we'll see how this turns out with production and how it yeah, that's the, like I said that was a strong suit with the special effects. Was the visuals. I'm, really, I'm worried ooh, on this. Maybe a little too bright at times, but it was cool. Yeah. Not not many space battles, but when they did do them, it did look cool. They Very did look cool. cool, yep. Crimson Sin here. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, sub, and share. Also, for the most up-to-date information about the podcast, follow us on Twitter at C15Podcast.